Hello and welcome. To the AirWatch console overview video. In this video we are going to talk about what are organization groups and what are the features of organization groups. The AirWatch console is accessible via the web browser. To accomplish that we need to connect to the URL of the console services. For that I start our web browser and I am entering the URL of our console services, which is in our case cn.demoeuc.com. After entering the URL, we need to provide a username and a password. Our username in that case is demo admin and a highly secure password. After a successful login, we get presented the terms of use, which we will accept. After the terms of use, we will see that we will be presented with a security wizard. Here in the security wizard, we can choose one of a couple of recovery password questions and then we will fill out our password recovery answer. I'll just stick with the default one and use a nickname. After providing two answers to the first questions, we also need to apply a security pin. This is kind of a safeguard for very major MDM function and serves as a second layer of security when we are changing settings in the environment. So let's now enter a security pin. And after that we click save. So this was the initial login and then we get our console highlights and I don't want to see them again. And I'm closing the window. What we now see is the devices overview dashboard and our landing page within AirWatch. You could see that this is our default landing page because it has the homepage symbol activated here in the top right corner. Well, where can we go now from here? Here on the left side in grey we see our main menu with our main items like devices, accounts, apps and box and so on and so forth. And as we hover over our main menu, the sub-menu changes accordingly. Underneath our main menu we find the About button where we can see which version of AirWatch we are currently running. In our case this is 9020, which is the current version of AirWatch as of today. But the AirWatch interface does not only provide us with the main, main and the sub-menu, it also provides us in the top right corner with our header menu which allows us to customize the interface in the way we work. So what do we have here? Let's begin from the left. With the add control we can add admins, devices, users, compliance policy and so on and so forth which are let's say the hot topics which are in the interface and the items which are used quite often. The next symbol is the search symbol, so we can search the whole environment. The alarm bell gives us notifications, if there are any. And the star symbol, that we can mark our favorite pages if we need them. For example, let's go to accounts, wait until the page is loaded and then you could start a page and you say save this page. You see that the page is started. If I move away from the page by the use of the main menu, you also see that the star is being de-highlighted and if I move back to accounts, I see it back highlighted. Or I move to devices or if I'm already there because I did other configurations and I want to move back to users list view, I go to my star menu and say list view. If I don't need the bookmark anymore, I can delete it by pressing the cross sign right next to it. The next thing we have is our question mark so we can have a help for the environment by opening the help page and we could also add a temporary admin. What can we do with a temporary admin? We will see a little bit later in the course. If you click on your username in the right top corner you can change your account roles if your account has multiple roles which is in the case here. So we have the systems administrator role at the global level and the AirWatch administrator role at the company level. What happens if I change this? Let's see. Okay, now I'm choosing the AirWatch admin level at company and look what's happening here. 
our organizational group switches. What do I mean by organizational group? Organizational groups are like containers in your AirWatch environment and we will have a specialized chapter on that too. I click on my account name and select the role I want to use. So you see also my landing page is changing back to my default value. And the last option in this video will be I can manage directly here my own account settings, which are again my email address, phone numbers, and the most important things here are password recovery questions and of changing my security pin. So this concludes the AirWatch overview video.